Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem. Um, the Pythagorean theorem um, is talk, talks about a right triangle. Now our right triangle looks like this. It just has a right angle in it. It's got three sides because it's a triangle. We let the two legs of the right triangle, the legs being the sides that surround the right angle, be A and B. And then we let the hypotenuse, which is the long side of a right triangle, be C. And so the Pythagorean theorem says, in a right triangle, the sum of the square, the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So you square each leg, you add it together, and that equals the um, square of the hypotenuse. The way that most people remember it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is what we're going to use it a lot. And this, all you need to remember is that the two short sides, which are always the legs, are a and b, and then the longest side is always c, which is the hypotenuse. And also remember this only works for right triangles. So if you don't have that right angle, you can't apply this theorem. All right, so let's do number one. So one's going to be three squared plus four squared equals, and we'll go ahead and use the variable here, so c squared, right? The two legs are three and four, and that's going to give you nine plus 16 equals c squared, which gives you 25 equals c squared. Well, now the question is, how do I solve this equation? I don't want to know what c squared is. I want to find out what the actual missing side is, which is c. Well, the key to finding the, um, making a perfect square, um, get rid of, getting rid of the square, is you take the square root. And so the way we're always going to solve these is once we, once we get a square equal to a num number, we take the square root of both sides. The square root of c squared is just c. And in this case, we know the square root of 25, right? The square root of 25 is just 5. And so the missing side in this problem is 5. This is what's called a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And it's got a specific name called a Pythagorean triple. And we'll learn more about those later on. But those are very specific types of problems. They're when um, the Pythagorean theorem works for integers, when a, b, and c are all integers. OK, two, find the missing side of the following triangle. So again, same thing. 4 and 8 are the legs. We don't know the hypotenuse, so that's c. So we get 4 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. So 16 plus 64 equals c squared. You end up with 80 equals c squared. Again, you take the square root. Now the difference on this one is I don't know what the square root of 80 is. 9 squared is 81. That's close. So I know it's almost 9. But I don't know what it is. So I'm going to simplify. I don't want a decimal answer. I want a simplified answer. So what goes into 80? Well, we did this in the last lesson. Square root of 4 times square root of 20. And then square root of 20 is just square root of 4 times square root of 5. So 80 is equivalent to 4 times 4 times 5. Or square root of 80 is equivalent to square root of 4 times square root of 4 times square root of 5. Well, that just gives you 2 times 2 times square root of 5, which equals 4 root 5. So my answer to this problem is 4 times the square root of 5. Always, always, always simplify um, your answers if you end up with square roots. Find the missing side of the following triangle. Same problem, okay? But this one's different because this time the long side is 13, which is the hypotenuse, and you're given that, and you're asked to find one of the missing sides, which we'll just call A. And so that means we now look at A squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared, which means A squared plus 25 equals 169. Now, those of you that haven't done a lot of algebra may not know what to do at this point, but this is a, an equation. And in an equation, it's always okay to subtract something from both sides. So if I subtract 25, I get a squared equals 144. And that, in general, is what all we're going to do. We're either going to um, have the, like the last problem where it just equaled it, or you're going to have to subtract one of the legs from the hypotenuse to find it. So that gives me a squared is 144. The nice thing is 144 has a perfect square, and that's 12. And so 12 is the solution, the missing side on this problem. Again, 5, 12, 13 is another specific type of triangle, and it's also a Pythagorean triple, like four, five, 3, 4, 5 was. 4, find the missing side of the following triangle. Very similar. 
6 squared, we'll just let this be a plus a squared equals 12 squared. So 36 plus a squared equals 144. Remember, by equation principles, I can subtract 36 from both sides and get a squared equals 108. I take the square root. I do not know what the square root of 108 is, but I do know that 4 goes into it. And it turns out 4 goes into it 27 times. And then hopefully you know that 9, the other perfect square, the next perfect square, goes into 27. And it goes into it 3 times. So you end up with 2 times 3 times square root of 3, which is 6 square root of 3. So in this case, our a value, our missing side, is 6 times the square root of 3. And this actually also turns out to be a specific kind of triangle that we'll discuss later on um, in a different section. All right, last problem. It says find the missing side of the following triangle. Um, and so um, actually when we do this, I, we want 14 to be right here on the hypotenuse. So that's going to give you 4 squared equals b squared plus 14 squared. The pro um, oh, that, that doesn't equal, so 4 squared plus b squared equals 14 squared. The original problem was just wrong, and that's why we changed the problem, because I wanted to do it this way. And so that's going to give me 16 plus b squared equals 196. Um, if you subtract 16, you get b squared equals 180. Take the square root of both sides, you get b equals square root of 180. Remember to simplify, you get square root of 4 times square root of 45. 45 has a 9 in it, so you can factor out a 9, so square root of 9 times square root of 5, and you get 2 times 3 times square root of 5, which equals 6 root 5. And that's the size of the missing side, or the length of the missing side. So again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Make sure you know how to simplify radicals to give your answer in the correct form.